In this video, I'll explain the differences between crypto coins versus tokens. Imagine that you've decided to start working out, planning out your routine. You've come to a crossroads should you purchase your own equipment or sign up for a gym membership. Both positions have their own pros and cons. If you were to buy your own training equipment, this would allow you to be independent and train whenever you like. On the other hand, it would cost a lot of money and would require you to build a mini gym for yourself all on your own. These are the issues that would be avoided by buying a gym membership. So this example illustrates the relationship between crypto coins and tokens perfectly, with their cons and pros equally. Before we dive deep into the explanation, I'd like to welcome you to Crypto Anna, the top YouTube channel for cryptocurrency education. Here we explain cryptocurrency topics using visual stories, simple analogies, and different examples. So no matter if you're 5 or 75, you'll be able to understand them. In this video, we're comparing crypto coins versus tokens. To be more specific, we'll talk about what these two assets are, what are the main differences, and why this is something that you should know about in the first place. Ready? Let's get right to it. What are crypto coins and tokens? To begin with, we must first determine the exact nature of these two assets in order to properly compare them to cryptocurrency coins and tokens. Bitcoin, Ethereum, and the Binance coin are a few of the most well-known examples of cryptocurrency coins. In other words, they are widely used and enormous cryptographic assets that serve a variety of purposes. On the other hand, tokens are smaller forms of cryptocurrency that typically have far more specialized uses than coins. Additionally, tokens are unable to exist on their own. They are instead hosted on a cryptocurrency's blockchain. As a result, tokens are what are known as child coins that are based on parent coins or the large ones in this environment. It's also important to note that coins and tokens can both be referred to as cryptocurrencies. It depends on the circumstances. So that it's evident, I'll give you an example. Imagine if coins represented different computer operating systems such as Apple's MacOS or Microsoft Windows. The applications you run in those Windows or MacOS environments are then crypto tokens. However, Microsoft Windows itself can function without any other applications. But with additional kid-friendly software including Chrome, Internet Explorer, Microsoft Office, and a cyberpunk game, it becomes more useful and entertaining. Not difficult at all, is it? A blockchain today is a location where data or information is kept. Don't forget to click the like and subscribe buttons as well, as doing so will encourage me to continue animating and presenting difficult crypto issues in a straightforward manner. Let's reaffirm the earlier statement after that. While cryptocurrency coins have their own blockchains, cryptocurrency tokens are hosted on the coins already existing blockchains. To put it another way, tokens don't have their own blockchain. Instead, they are the offspring of larger parent coins and launch and operate on that parent's network. You can also consider it in light of the example I provided at the beginning of the video. If you want to start working out and want to create a small gym of your own with your own equipment, then you will have to put a lot of time, money, and patience into the project. The same process applies for creating a new coin. The complete logic and functionality model of a brand new blockchain that will power the upcoming coin must be created by the developers. Keeping with this illustration, signing up for a local gym membership will help you save money and a ton of time. As a result, building a token in a blockchain environment that already exists is substantially simpler. No matter what purpose it serves, the blockchain upon which it is built will always act as the foundation for it. Your best bet is to consider Ethereum when talking about crypto coins and tokens. After Bitcoin is the second largest crypto project in the world and is frequently referred to as the world computer. On the current market, the Ethereum blockchain is used for the development, creation, and launch of the great majority of tokens. Without going into too much technical detail, the fundamental reason this is the case is that Ethereum offers perhaps the greatest and easiest environment for token launching, and it was the first widely used coin with such a smarter blockchain ecosystem that allows this capability. The so-called stable coins are a great illustration of the more popular Ethereum-based currencies, and sure, it may sound strange, but this is one of the few instances in which tokens are referred to as quote-unquote coins, even if they are still created on an Ethereum parent blockchain rather than on their own. However, there are unique tokens, and this is why. A stable coin is a particular kind of cryptocurrency token whose value is anchored or linked to the value of the dollar, and which is ideally backed by real money as well. In other words, the value of one stable coin will never change. It functions similarly to a digital US dollar on the blockchain having the same value as a real material dollar. To gain a bigger view, USDT or Tether is currently the most widely used stablecoin. Tether is enormous. It has a market capitalization of over $78 billion and is currently the third largest crypto asset behind Bitcoin and Ethereum as of the time this video was made. And as I've already said, the value of a Tether is always $1. This won't ever alter. Why doesn't Tether have its own blockchain if it is so enormous? 
Again, this is a result of how effective Ethereum is at launching crypto assets like stable coins or other kinds of tokens. The Ethereum team is always working to advance the technology and make it faster and more accessible and simpler for programmers to create and deploy tokens on its blockchain. It is not necessary for creators of new coins to consider creating a custom blockchain infrastructure from scratch. They receive Ethereum with its full global functionality already set up and ready to use. Do you want to learn more about Tether or Ethereum? Comment below with the cryptocurrency subject you want me to animation and cover next. Subscribe as well to make sure you don't miss my discussions of these subjects in the following weeks. As we continue the video, we now know what cryptocurrency coins and tokens are. What are these two's primary genuine differences now? The main distinction is that whereas tokens utilize the blockchains of current coins, crypto coins have their own blockchains. It's important to note that not all blockchains permit the creation of tokens on them. But consider it in this manner. Imagine that each cryptocurrency is a structure. Building sizes range from larger to smaller and so forth. Additionally, all of them have various features and serve various purposes, correct? For instance, some structures feature huge garages where many cars can be kept. Then there are smaller structures, such private homes, which would not often have a dedicated space for a car. Let's pretend that in this scenario, crypto tokens would truly be the vehicles that could be kept in the previously mentioned virtual city structures or not. Similar to this, some cryptozoic blockchains permit token creation by developers while others do not. Why? Because cryptocurrency creators merely named their blockchains that way to serve various functions. Some coins were designed solely to fulfill their own purpose. Consider Bitcoin. It was created to serve as nothing more than the virtual world's version of money. By sharing their functionality with tokens that could be issued and functioning in accordance with the mother coin on which those blockchain tokens were launched, other coins were intended to serve not only their own purposes, but also extra functionalities. Ethereum, Binance Smart Chain, and Tron are the three most used blockchains for creating tokens. Another significant distinction between coins and tokens is that whereas token utility focuses on a particular project, coins typically serve a greater purpose and are more generic in their application. Sounds complicated. I'll give you a couple of instances. Take Bitcoin or the Uniswap token as an example. The most popular cryptocurrency currently available is Bitcoin. The majority of individuals concur that Bitcoin's use case is that of a store of value, which means that those who invest in it do so in the expectation that their money will either increase in value or at the very least maintain its worth. I think this is a pretty general and broad use case. The most well-known decentralized cryptocurrency exchange now has a token called Uniswap. You can anonymously exchange one kind of Ethereum token for another on the Uniswap exchange, which is run by an independent organization. It is therefore decentralized. However, those trades don't require the Uniswap token. What then is it even used for? Owners of the Uniswap token can vote on improvements and modifications made to the exchange in question, and they might also be eligible for discounts when exchanging other tokens on the platform. The Uniswap token's use case in this instance is extremely specialized and limited to the decentralized exchange platform. Well guys, that's what we all have for you today. Make sure to subscribe to our channel so you never miss any of our upload. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below.